Hey, what is up, guys? Hayden Quinn here, and today I'll be reviewing Michael Jackson Searching for Neverland. Who's bad? May I remind you you're under oath? Did Dr. Conrad Murray kill Michael Jackson? Like I told you, I wasn't there that night. But you were there the two years leading up to that night. He doesn't want to be the king of pop. He just wants to be Mike, a normal American dad. Raising these kids alone is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. There are good people in the world, and there are bad people. I'll always protect you. We love that man. We were the only two people actually looking out for him. Come on, show me what you got. What else do you want? Now, Michael Jackson's um, Searching for Neverland is a uh, Lifetime biopic, 2017 biopic by Lifetime. Uh, here's what the brief synopsis is without s spoiling anything. Well, there's nothing really to spoil because the book's already been released. Based on the best-selling book, Remember the Time, protecting Michael Jackson in his final days and told through the eyes of Jackson's trusty bo um, trusted bodyguards, Bill Whitfield and Javon Beard. The movie will reveal firsthand the devotion Michael Jackson had to his children and a hidden drama that took place during the last two years of his life. If you haven't seen my um, my friend Matt FTR's video about Searching for Neverland, you should watch that because um, that's quite in-depth in terms of Michael himself, played by Navi. And in that case, um, I was kind of inspired by that video. To, uh, props to you, Matt. However, um, here are my thoughts on the actual film itself. The main person playing Michael Jackson was Navi. Um, if you guys haven't seen Navi perform, he, he isn't the best Michael Jackson impersonator um, in terms of singing and dancing. However, he, um, he, has, um, he said that he's been chosen by Michael himself. So in a sense that he's kind of good, but not really. He only looks good when he's covered uh, with the mask and the hair. Uh, and a hat, sorry. So he only looks good when he's like half covered. So he's kind of decent looking, but not really. Aside from that, in terms of casting Navi, um, considering he's a British person, um, he has a strong, thick British accent, and he's playing Michael Jackson, uh, which is really funny because if you watch, um, if you watch the actual documentary, y you can hear him. His uh, British accent. Um, now I'm speaking in a British accent. Oh, uh, you can hear his British accent through um, him playing Michael, which is hilarious. Maybe we should turn that into a um, into a drinking game. Every time if he changes accent, you take a shot. Um, yeah, we'll see how you go with that. Anywho, Navi was an alright cast. I would have preferred either um, E. Casanova, if he still does the MJ stuff, or Ernest Valentino. I know that um, Ernest Valentino did a Michael Jackson documentary, another one. Uh, I forgot the name, however, I will link that in the description below. Um, so yeah, the cast for Navi was questionable. However, um, it was okay. There's not much well-known Michael Jackson impersonators. In terms of the story, it was kind of rushed, as it's told between the um, the bodyguards, in a sense, that um, they tried to condense the book into an hour and a bit movie. They didn't show much action of Michael. Uh, besides the photo shoot scene... Yeah, the photo shoot scene that we actually see Navi or Michael dance. However, most of it's just him standing there, talking to his bodyguards, talking with his children, and just looking, reading, whatnot. So it's just mostly filler activities. <laughs> filler, thriller activities. <laughs> Go me. Michael didn't... Oh, why do, I, why do I keep on saying Michael? Navi, Navi, did not do anything in a sense. I particularly was looking forward to the later years, in a sense, 2009, especially, because the movie was hyped to be um, him in his later years. I was hoping to see more um, This Is It content, in a sense that's more media coverage for the O2, uh, O2 press conference and the um, and rehearsals. I would like to see like kind of like an impersonated dude, This Is It rehearsals. That would have been great. Now, in terms of the photo shoot scene, I'm I'm reading off a message I sent to Matt. In terms of the photo shoot scene, we, we didn't really need Navi dancing for a solid two minutes, taking pictures. Although 
the dancing was all right. It was enjoyable in some cases. It was quite, it was unnecessary to say the least. I would like to praise the actors, the bodyguards, um, the actors who played bodyguards, who played Bill and Javon. Um, they did quite a well job at um, playing the bodyguards, especially for Bill. He, he really played a realistic character, I suppose. Ch uh, the children who played Michael's children, they did a fairly good job. I'm not criticizing them because they're only child actors and child actors can improve immensely. The person who played Prince, Prince Michael Jackson, he kind of did look like him, cause maybe because of the hair and the eyes. Um, the girl who played Paris, uh, she didn't really look like Paris. However, she captured the um, innocence and essence of her as a um, when we, um, when she was around that age. In terms of being a fan, a Michael Jackson fan, the movie was okay. The reason why I say this is because A, it was rushed, like I said before. B, it didn't show much Michael doing anything besides interacting with his children. And uh, what Matt said, they hyped it up as his last two years um, of his life. So everyone's like, oh, last two years of Michael Jackson. What, what can, you know, what can happen? All I do remember that, uh, all I do remember that was um, the shopping mall scene. That's all I remember. And Michael smashing a camera. The uh, thing about that is, I'm not sure if Michael actually did that. It seems like a stupid thing to do. But in a sense that that was him being paranoid. Like, ah, they're spying on me. Ah, going to be angry. Angry reacts only. In terms of um, filmic techniques and... Um, and the way how they edited it, it was it was quite well done. Um, props to the mirror scene where um, Navi's getting ready for Elizabeth Taylor's birthday, and um, you you can't see the camera within the mirror reflection, which I found was pretty cool. The person who played Joe, uh, Joe Jackson, Michael uh, Michael's father, he did a very well job. Although he he was a bit skinny, but I suppose you know just casting a character for a good solid five minutes how i got to watch searching for neverland was um through facebook i'll link the link down below as well as i found an alternate link that my um friend angus well facebook friend angus skidmore found which is an alternate link i watched the facebook one because i thought it was quite easier and i would just watch it in one setting and that um yeah it was it was quite easy um quite an easy watch in terms of in setting just a now and a bit solid just read, um, just watching it. My score, as a Michael Jackson fan, it's probably a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, that being said, more content could dive, uh, could be delved more into. And um, as a filming perspective, I would give it a um, eight point five out of ten. Uh, there were some shots that could be worked on, such as um, Michael um, spinning around in Wonderland. Not Neverland, Wonderland. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you see it first, then come back to this review. Um, it was a bit sloppy in a sense. However, you know, improvement, I suppose. And um, as just a regular a regular person who likes watching Lifetime biopics, it, it, it wouldn't be worth watching um, a Michael Jackson uh, this version. Uh, because, A, if you're not interested in Michael Jackson, then, you know... Don't watch it. And two, I mean, Lifetime biopics. This is my first Lifetime biopic. However, I read that some Lifetime biopics aren't the greatest and they should stop. However, um, that's not my opinion. That's someone else's opinion. Uh, I did cry at the end. However, um, everyone was crying and that his death affected all of our fans. So I thought, great ending. But yeah, uh, I thought at first, first, um, first glances, I thought, this movie was going to be really shit. Anywho, um, it was great. Good movie. Could be improved on. However, definitely a watch from Michael Jackson fans. I'm not saying this to criticise the film. I thought it was a good film. However, um, I'm just saying that there's points that need to be improved on. However, um, it's just mainly because of the content and casting. Other than that, I hope you enjoy, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.